so hi everyone in this video we will learn about uh, primitive polynomial okay so we are familiar with uh, this set if you have watched the previous videos you you are familiar with this set uh, what this set will have it will have all those polynomials which we got as a remind as a remainder when we when i divided x square uh, when i divided every polynomial in f2x with x square plus x plus 1 so what i did i took all the polynomials from f2x and you know the what f what kind of polynomial f2x have so i take uh, all the polynomials from f2x divided by divide them with x square plus x plus 1 and i got the remainders all those remainders will have in this set so set of those polynomials is denoted by this f to x over x square plus x plus one. Okay, so this p x x square plus x plus one. Let's say root of this polynomial is alpha. Then I can say that if I plug in alpha in this uh, equation, I will get alpha square plus alpha plus one equal to zero. Since uh, alpha is the root of this equation, this this polynomial, then on putting uh, Uh, I'll find this uh, polynomial. I will get zero. So from here, I can say that say that uh, alpha square, alpha square, since alpha square plus alpha plus one is zero. Now I can say that what will be the value of alpha square? It will be <laughs> what it will be. Will it be minus alpha minus alpha minus one? Is it true? No, because the field is F two. And in, in field F two, we have Z Z two Z two set in which we have integers only zero comma one. We can't have coefficient minus one. So what what we do when we get minus one? We'll do the modulus operator. And in modulus operator, uh, how to deal negative negative numbers? Just add the number under which you are taking modulo. So we are taking modulo under two. So if you add minus one to two, you will get one. And take modulo with two, you will get one. so it is not alpha minus alpha minus 1 it is actually alpha square equals to alpha plus 1 okay so which i have written here so alpha square is basically uh, alpha plus 1 okay now alpha is the root of this polynomial now using that alpha first of all uh, what will be the all polynomials in this field you, you you know that every polynomial in this field will have degree what degree degree less than 2 because a degree of, with because a polynomial of because degree of the polynomial from with which i am dividing is 2 so the uh, degree of remainder polynomial will be less than 2 and we have already uh, seen in the previous video that uh, these are the uh what what are the poly polynomials which can uh, which i can generate degree less than 2 that will be uh, 0 1 x x plus 1 these are the only polynomials which i can generate uh over this set over this set which have degree less than 2 now and uh, root of this root of this uh, uh, polynomial is alpha now using alpha can i generate all these can i generate all these polynomials let's see so alpha 0 will be what identity right alpha 1 will be what um, alpha 1 will be but simply alpha alpha 2 will be what alpha 2 will be what alpha 2 will be uh, as we have already uh, calculated that alpha 2 will be alpha plus 1 so alpha 2 will be alpha plus 1 <clears throat> what will be alpha cube what will be alpha cube i can write alpha cube as alpha times alpha square right now from here i can say that alpha square is alpha plus 1 so it will be alpha times alpha plus 1 now if so i solve it further i'll get alpha square plus 1 now again i'm uh, spotting alpha square here now i can i can again re replace this alpha square with alpha plus 1 so i'll get So you know that these two one get cancelled. So by now you must be familiar with this notion of cancelling. So one get cancelled by one, and you'll get alpha. 
ओके सो बट अल्फा वॉज ऑलरेडी जनरेटेड वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन अल्फा सो यू नो दैट वट विल बी द वट विल बी द ऑर्डर ऑफ दिस दिस एलिमेंट ऑर्डर दिस एलिमेंट विल बी थ्री बिकॉज आफ्टर आफ्टर द लेबल थ्री आई एम जस्ट फॉलोइंग बैक टू द प्रीवियस एलिमेंट्स सो वी हैव जीरो जीरो एक्सप्लिसिटली एडिट जीरो कान भी जनरेटेड यूजिंग अल्फा वन कैन भी जनरेटेड यूजिंग अल्फा जस्ट 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 टेक द सुपर स्क्रिप्ट लेबल जीरो अल्फा वन कैन भी जनरेटेड अल्फा स्क्वायर और वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन बट अल्फा क्यूब विल बी अगेन अल्फा रेस्ट पॉर वन सो सो वी आर फॉलोइंग बैक टू द सेम सेट if we increase the superscript level further so if you recall the generator concept then then you you can relate so what 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 can i conclude from this i can conclude that alpha which is a root of which is a root of which is a root of my this polynomial x square plus one x x square plus x plus one using the root i am generating all the other other uh, polynomials of this entire set so such kind of polynomial such kind of polynomial will be x whose root is generating all the remainder polynomials such polynomial is called primitive polynomial so i hope you 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 got the point when can when can i say that this polynomial is primitive polynomial first of all i i i need a set over which this that, that polynomial is defined so this is my set where i have remainder polynomials and if the root of that polynomial is able to generate every other remainder polynomial except a 0 1 right then that uh, polynomial will be primitive polynomial let's see one more example Uh, here i have taken uh, my px as x cube plus x plus 1 so what what will be the degree of remainder polynomials in this set the highest degree of this px is 3 so the rem- polynomial of uh, remainder polynomials will have a degree less than 3 so they can have a degree 0 they can have a degree 1 they can have a degree 2 right they can have a degree 0 they can have a degree 1 they have a degree 2 total total three degrees are possible in this set so total number of polynomials that i can generate of degree less than 3 is 2 raised to power 3 8 so we have total 8 polynomials in this set and i have written already here 0 1 x x 1 x square x plus x plus x so these are all these i have they all have degree less than 2 and they are total 8 in number now let's see let's assume that root of this uh, equation is this polynomial is alpha so then alpha q plus alpha plus 1 will be 0 and again by the similar arguments alpha q will be equal to alpha plus 1 and not minus alpha minus 1 okay that will be equal to alpha plus 1 now can i generate all the element all these uh, all these polynomials all these polynomials in in, in my set using alpha alpha 0 will be identity alpha 1 just re- so le- take a superscript label 1 right and alpha square you will be just uh, take take the label 2 uh, just apply once one more time on identity so i have we have identity 0 if i apply alpha on it i'll get alpha if i apply alpha alpha again on the alpha i'll get alpha square if i again al- apply of alpha on it i'll get alpha cube but what is alpha cube alpha cube is alpha plus 1 and to get the alpha 4 i have to apply alpha on alpha cube alpha cube is what alpha plus 1 so just keep on uh, applying alpha on the previous element of sequence sequence and you will uh, keep on getting the uh, next element you can you, you will keep on getting uh, the next element and and at one point of time at one point of time i you will get a saturation point or i can say you you will not get any new uh, polynomial you will just fall back to the same polynomial again and again so at, at one point of time increasing the label superscript level further will not help 
will not yield you some another polynomial because all the uh, possible polynomial which alpha could generate uh, that it will generate so i'm leaving you uh, i'm leaving this this uh, this one as a exercise for you just try uh, computing alpha cube alpha 4 alpha 5 alpha 6 alpha 7 and see am i able to generate uh, all these polynomials and am i falling back to the same set if i am increasing superscript level if you see you will see that if you do that you will see that yes that is happening so in that case also so i can say that this this polynomial is also a primitive polynomial so this was all about primitive polynomial and uh, i hope you got what is primitive polynomial